Okay, so y'all, <laughs> I don't know why my story time has been about teachers lately, but y'all, I have some crazy teachers, but um, one of my teachers was like my favorite teacher ever, I just love her so much, shout out to Miss Brooks, oh yeah, I said her real name, because I love her. Anyways, so um, this story ain't about her though, this story about Mrs., what we gonna call her? Let's call her Mrs. Duck. Because she was a whole duck in these streets. No, I'm playing. Um, but we're going to call her Miss Duck. Because her last name rhymed with a type of duck. So we're going to call her Miss Duck. So anyway. Miss Duck. Miss Duck, girl. Coming for you. No, I'm playing. But I really don't have no issues with her. But I was I was really mad this day, y'all. Me and Miss Duck, like, we, we never really saw eye to eye. Cause I know, okay, first off, let me just say I know it seemed like I had a bunch of problems with teachers, but I really didn't. It, like most of my teachers adore me, except for probably like four, and that's like all the way through school. But um, but uh, yeah, like most of my teachers really like me, but like I had a few that was just kind of like, girl. You so happy all the time. I think that's really like why the teachers that didn't like me didn't like me. I think they just genuinely hated their life and I was too happy all the time. <laughs> but okay, so this <laughs> this teacher, Miss Duck. Wait, wait. Okay. Miss Duck, like every day I would come in the classroom, she always had something to say to me. And it was never it was never like just just like I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't like she would put me down or it was bad stuff. I just always felt like she was saying little things to try to make me pop off so I would do something wrong. But I never did. So, um, basically, the only thing I really got in trouble in there for was, like, talking too much. Because I used to finish my work fast. And, like, I would talk to the girl that sat beside me all the time because, like, she finished her work fast, too. So, we would just talk to each other. So, I used to get in trouble for that a lot in that class. And that's all I used to get in trouble for. But this one day in particular, uh, I already, like, I was hungry. I was always hungry in school. I was always hungry in school, so I was, like, really hungry or whatever. And I kept snacks in my backpack, so... But I knew we couldn't eat in there because it was a computer class. So, um, the reason why we couldn't eat was because, like, obviously you want to get food in the computers and stuff. So, I'm hungry and, like, I thought I was tripping, y'all. I started smelling barbecue chips. I'm like, man, uh, am I this hungry that I'm just imagining food? And then I hear crunching. And I look behind me and this girl sitting there just munching on barbecue chips, y'all. And the teacher looking straight at her. And I'm just like. Okay then. So I open my backpack up. I pull out my Pringles. And I start eating my chips. And she like. Uh, Miss ha uh, Miss Hives. Miss Hives. You can't eat in here. So I'm like. I just turn around. Look at the girl. I'm like. Do you see her? She was eating before I was eating. So um. The teacher's like, well, she has a condition. That's why she eating. I'm like, girl, I got a condition, too. I don't know what her condition is, but I got it, too. I need to eat my chips, too, just like her. And then, um, she was, she was like, uh, she was like, you don't even know what her condition is, so don't say that. And I said, well, I got low blood pressure. I got to keep my blood pressure up. I pass out. And that, y'all, that's true. I really do. Like, if I don't eat, I pass. Well, most people, if they don't eat, they'll pass. So, but I do have low blood pressure, so, yeah, need to get my sodiums up, so I didn't, up in the class, you know, so, um, she told me, basically, just told me, like, I'm disrupting the class or whatever, and I told her, I was like, alright, well, you know, just leave me alone, like, as long as she eating, I'ma eat, tell her to put hers up, then I put mine up too, and she's like, I'm not gonna tell her that. 
she's eating and, and and she has a reason to eat. I said, well, I got a reason to eat too. I'm hungry. And I just kept eating my chills. And she said she was going to write me up if I put them up. And I said, okay, well, you're going to have to write her up too because that ain't right. And then she goes, well, she's pregnant so she can eat it here. Girl, pregnancy is not a condition. So I'm just like, so let me get this right. Let me get this right. You're going to reward her for spreading her legs. But me, who ain't, can't eat in the classroom. I'm going to eat too. Nope. I ain't trying to hear that. That's not a condition. Nope. That's her fault. She, she caused that on herself. If she can eat, I can eat. And so then, you know... She just kept saying, well, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. So I'm like, how you know I'm not? And she goes, you not? I said, you don't know what I am. And I kept eating. So then she goes, um, I need to talk to you in the hall. So I'm like, all right, girl, whatever, whatever. And she's like, uh, you haven't turned your work in. I said, okay. She was like, okay, well, you need to you need to just do your work and stop causing problems. So I'm not causing no problems. I said, I ain't doing nothing no other students that none of the other students ain't doing. Is if she's allowed to eat in the classroom, I should be allowed to eat in the classroom. So whatever. And she goes, Well, I told you why she is. I said, Okay, well, you don't know you don't know what I got going on either. So just cause she told you and I didn't don't mean nothing. And um this lady says to me, if you don't do your work, how are you ever going to graduate? And I'm trying to tell her, like, my work is done. I just haven't printed it out. And um, she goes, you're not going to graduate. You're never going to graduate. You're going to end up being a stripper. That's all you can ever be. This teacher literally told me, all I can be is a stripper. And you know what I told her, y'all? You know what I told her? I said, well, you know what? Strippers making more than you make. Girl, it looked like her whole spirit was broke when I told her the strippers made more than her. But I just feel like what kind of teacher be telling telling their students they ain't going to never amount to nothing but a stripper. And yeah, I had the body for it, but that ain't the point. And I really just feel like, you know, she wants to tell me, girl, going to change your name to popping champagne and pop that little... In the club, but, but girl, if I was, if I was, you'll probably need to borrow money from me. So, my point. But this is the thing right here. Like I said, strippers making more money than, than teachers around here. So, she said that like I wasn't going to be paid. Now, yeah, it's not the best occupation morally depending on how you was raised. And my parents raised me where that's not, that's not the occupation for me. Which is why I'm not doing those things. But I ain't knocking nobody who is, honestly. Like, because I know, I know a few personally and they get paid, paid. And, about houses and nice cars and all types of things. And I have told my mama, mama, if you didn't raise me with the morals you did, girl. Girl. Hey. Welcome to the stage, Chocolate Thunder Thighs. <laughs> but, so, anyway. I said, um... I, I had asked the lady when she told me that. How you think the principal feel about you telling me that? And, um... She started trying to, like, basically bear her and stuff. I wasn't really going to tell the principal, but, girl, you just got to think about what you say to students before you say it. And, yeah, that's basically my story time. By the way, I got to go back in class, finish eating my chips, and I ate some candy after that, and I drank my drink. So, and then in class, I printed out my work and gave it to her. The only reason I didn't print out my work at, but when I first finished is because when you print your, print your work out early in there, she starts trying to make you do her work. Like, while we grant papers, we ain't getting paid for that. Boo-bye. Boo-bye. Do your own job. <laughs> Talking about, I'm going to be a stripper. You can't even do your job. You got students doing it. Anyway. I'm KJ. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Bing. So you can be notified when I drop another video. And I'm out.